everyone. I'm going to show you how to make a stacked hair bow. I've already made um, a boutique style hair bow and I'm going to make some layers to, to add to this. So first I want to make another boutique style that's very small to be on the very top. And this is about 17 inches. It's going to be difficult to make uh, since it's so small. What I want to do is just fold it over like this. That, that's my center. So I just want to make this loop like this. And I just want it to come to the end of that. I don't want the tail to be showing. And I'll take that side and I will do the same thing over there. So it kind of looks like a figure eight. Okay, I've already got this needle threaded. What I'm going to do is put these on top of each other like this. And then push them down. It looks like this on this side. Now I'm going to push that needle through in the center. Hopefully that's pretty centered up. Uh, if you pinch it and look at it, you can pretty much eyeball it and see that it's centered. So I'm just going to pinch that into the middle and then pinch those out. So just one crease. I like to do it which is one crease. I used to do them with more and I just like the way these turn out better. Okay, so I'm going to wrap that around a couple of times. And I'm going to start pulling as I get to about two or three layers. I'm going to start pulling it tighter. It's starting to come loose, so I need to be careful. Okay, I'm just going to tie that off. Just making a couple of knots on the back so it will stay in place. One more time. Okay. Cut that off. And if you turn that over, you can see it made a cute little hair bow. It's a good way to make little bitty ones for the little girls. And I didn't really attempt to form it since it was so small, I didn't want to even mess with it, and it's just going to be the very top. Okay. Next, I want to make a loop. You've seen these on the hair bows. It's like on each side, they're like this. Okay? And I cut these at 14 inches. So I just want to find my center again. I'm just going to clip that. And I don't want to go all the way to the center but this is how I will do it and I'll leave a little gap right there in the center because I do hot glue this section I don't want it to get in the way of when I'm trying to put it all together you have to be careful with that hot glue if you're hot gluing sections and then you try to sew it together or put it together it can make it really difficult so just made a little section there in the center make one more of those. Center. And try to line that up so it matches. It just takes a little bit of hot glue, not much. Okay. Now you can put them on top of each other. You can get them, space them out. I've even, sometimes I've even just hot glued them into the bow. But this one I'm not going to do that. I'll probably end up doing it like that. I've got another section I'm going to do, and I've already pre cut these. I've got some different ribbons. And these were about 8 inches. And I've already cut the ends in the big one, this middle one. And then on these, I just cut them straight off. And I burnt all the ends. Some space here. Okay, so what I want to do, I'm going to put one of these. I want these on the outside, so I'm going to start there. 
Then I'm going to put one in the middle. Make sure it's coming off the ends the same. This one's going to go in the middle. And then this one next. And this one on top. So make sure they're all even. Try to clip those together. Yeah, I need some needle and thread. I'm using a crochet needle. I've used regular needles before. They work good too. This one, uh, it's not a sharp. You're not gonna poke yourself. You're not gonna make yourself bleed all over the hair bow. It can be a little bit more difficult to go through several layers though, so I'll warn you of that. Okay, so I just wanna find my middle, which is right on the other side of that. And I want to try to get right smack dab in the middle so I make sure I get all those ribbons. Okay. Make sure they're all in there. They are. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is twist them around so they're all going different directions. And if you want these to be perfect, you're gonna have to hot glue them. Because when you sew them, they're not gonna be perfectly spaced. But when you hot glue sections of a hair bow, you come up with other problems. And I used to hot glue a lot. Now I do a lot of sewing. It's just whatever you prefer. Do what you prefer. Okay. So I'm gonna pinch it in the middle again. And then on the outside, so it looks like that. I'll pull that through part way. And I'll start wrapping that around tightly. And before I tie that off, I'm going to make sure that they look decent. Okay, yeah, I may have to trim that one off a little bit. That's okay. Alright, so I'm just going to make, again, I'm going to make some knots. somewhere. Here we go. Want to make sure you clean those off. Okay, so there is that layer, and then I'm going to have this layer like that. And this layer, probably make some more of those since this is so small. And then I will put them all together and add them to this bow. I want to make sure that's not going to be too overwhelming. No, that's going to be perfect. And that one. And I can even make another boutique and make it just a little bit bigger. Or I can make some more of these to go underneath it. So I will do that and then I'll make another short video showing how to put it all together. Thanks guys.